Right, just making a video here to show you some temperatures on the computer. I've had lots of comments and questions and people wanting to know things, so here you go. Here's the data. Uh, this is hardware info. I've got the GPU-Z here. Between the two of them, we'll get pretty much everything we need to see here. So I do have a benchmark running in the background right now. You can see down here that it's loading the GPU up 100%. CPU is not being used 100%. Um, we'll get to that in a minute, what it's what it's using, but GPU is running at 100%. You can see here the memory temperature, the hottest it's got, 86 degrees. The GPU temperature itself, 77 degrees. You can see the, the, line, the line here. It's not peaking, it hasn't gone up and down. I've been running the benchmark for about 10 minutes before I started recording this, just to heat soak it out. But all these temperatures are here, all in spec no dramas with them at all i haven't changed any of the curves of it you can see the fans are running at 2700 rpm right now this is what memory is being used and you can see it is under a hundred percent load right now it's not drawing more power it's drawing about 336 watts i have seen that go to 350 watts before but still well within spec between the two when you look at the power numbers, and I do have a UPS that has an, a re rating on it that the computer's plugged into. I've never seen the computer draw over 500 watts, so the 750 watt power supply is not a problem. Definitely not a problem. I'll go down through these for you. You can see core temperatures of the CPU, two different cores, the average 61, the maximum 86. Once again, stock fan curves. They're running at like 40% fans right now. If you turn them up, it goes down, but I don't want to. You can see here, nothing is throttling on the CPU at all. Temperatures are all in check. These are all your different settings. If you want to pause it and have a look at them, you can. Memory, same with the memory. There's no heat spreaders on the memory, but like, Heat spreaders on memory aren't really heat spreaders on memory these days. They're more just for looks. They're more concerned about RGB. The difference between naked RAM and RAM with heat spreaders and LEDs is marginal at best. They don't get hot enough to even worry about that. They're all comfortable temperature ranges. There's no dramas with it not having any covering on it, just being naked. It's completely fine. If anything, the ones that have LEDs run slightly hotter because LEDs do put out heat. These are just your hard drives. Obviously, they're all running within temperature. There's nothing much going on with them. If I go down a bit further, here's the GPUs. It's literally just backing up what's been said over here on the other one. Memory junction temperature, average 84, maximum 86, which is exactly what we're seeing over here. GPU fans running about 2700 RPM. Same as what we're seeing over here. What the memory clock's running at. You can see all these temperatures for yourself. As you can see over here, the GPU is under 100% load right now. So yeah, I wouldn't say that there's any problems with any of those temperatures on any of this stuff. It is just an air-cooled computer. It's not been run through a custom water loop or anything. None of these temperatures are causing any problems with the computer. It's not thermal throttling for any reason whatsoever. The memory temperature, 86 degrees at 100% load right now. They don't thermal throttle to 110 degrees Celsius, so we're not even close to getting to that. I can't see it under what I'm doing here. I'm sure if you run some type of benchmark that stresses it out that much, you can probably cook them up that hot, but under normal use, 100%. If you're playing a game right now, you're not gonna be drawing any more than this. It's never gonna be an issue whatsoever. So yeah, if you wanna look through this video and pause it and look at some of these settings for yourself and get a bit of an idea, here's all the numbers. Same with the GPU. This is a 3080 Ti. It's the stock one that come with the computer. There's all the settings, you can have a look for yourself. I can't make these numbers up. This is this is what it is, so I'll scroll through this again. If there's anything you want to look at for yourself, you can pause it and have a look, but these are the numbers. There's nothing alarming here whatsoever. 
So it's all within spec. It's not affecting the performance of the computer whatsoever. I haven't had any thermal problems with this computer since I've had it. I haven't even had to change the fan curves. You could change them to make the numbers look better and run a bit cooler, but it's not actually gonna change the performance of the computer much anyway. You'd have to drastically drop them to do that, but it's not really possible. So with all that running, you can hear the 100%. This is the noise the computer's making. I don't think it's so loud. It's not really a problem. If I try and pop this side panel off right now, let's get up. I'll take this side panel off quickly. I do have a temperature gun here so we can do it live. I'll just whack this on here as well. Bring it down here where you can see it a bit better. So if I put it there on the V, this is the temperatures it's getting, 59. Put on the back plate, 60 degrees. You can see where the red dot is on the computer to see where it's, there's, it's a bit hard to film this and get it all in view, but this is all degrees Celsius, 57. Lots of people were worried about the power delivery around here on the motherboard, but as you can see, this is just on the heat sinks obviously, but You've seen it all in the software as well, but this just confirms that this, there's no problem. I've touched all this. You can put your hand on it. It's, it's, it's not even warm to the touch. There's, there's no dramas with it. So hopefully this gives you a bit of an idea, eases your mind a little bit, but no issues.